Yeah, lawmakers have quite a few priorities, but the main ones I heard mentioned over and over again today, housing, education, and climate change. Governor Ned Lamont driving those three home while he delivered his state of the state address to the 2024 session earlier today, but with quite an unexpected interjection from the gallery. Governor Ned Lamont's State of the State address coming to a sudden pause Wednesday as pro-Palestinian demonstrators chanted and attempted to unfurl banners in the House chamber. Whatever the justice of the cause, I think you do a disservice when you're rude and disrespectful in a room like this, disrespecting the people in this room and disrespecting the audience. Lamont quickly getting back to business. The state's $51 billion two-year budget is largely set, but lawmakers will open it back up for possible adjustments this session. On the governor's list, housing, addressing climate change, workforce development, and education. Connecticut's fiscal guardrails also a major topic for the 2024 session. A lot of groups want more money. Nonprofits, higher education, child care, housing, and others are already clamoring for a piece of the state's historic surplus, but Connecticut's strict spending cap stands in the way. And Republican leadership tells me while they were happy with the speech and agree with the governor about keeping those fiscal guardrails strictly in place, they did have a few priorities they felt like the governor should have mentioned in his address, namely crime and juvenile justice. And while, as we've said, it's a short session with a long to-do list, all the lawmakers I spoke to today tell me they're ready to hit the ground running. Reporting at the Capitol, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.